Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new painting tutorial. And this time I'm going to paint this but in a quite dark skin, okay? I'm going to use... Let me see if I find the, the one I want to use as a reference. Not really like that. I'm looking for... Yeah, more like that. A zombie with dark skin. Um, sometimes the flesh, when it's rotting, goes very dark. Okay, because of the all the bacteria and so on. So we are going to start applying Rattling Grim. Okay, I'm I'm really experimenting with this one, and I think it's quite interesting contrast paint. So we are going to apply this over this meter, and you will see that it's like a greenish color, quite dark. But I think will give the sensation of positive flesh that is what I'm looking for. Okay, of course we are going to after that apply other colors to make it look more interesting. But this contrast paint is it's a new, it's quite interesting color. It's like a gray with a little bit of brown. Okay, so we are going to apply this on the skin. And then I will be back for the next step. Okay, next I'm going to use another contrast paint for the trousers. And I will use, uh, I can use Agarus Dunes for example, to make them look like a little bit yellowish, like an old yellow, something like that. Okay. Also, looks like working clothes. I have waited the contrast divide the previous layer have divided a little bit before doing this one. Okay. Something like that. Will be good enough. I have to say with contour paints and washes these days you can do really nice paint jobs quite fast and just start knowing how they work I think they're making the life of a lot of people easier okay we need to wait again that this device we can do another step because it's going to be quite far. The other one I want to put, I want to put just snake bite, snake, snake. Sorry, it's always the same. A snake bite leather on the uh, woods. Here I'm not too concerned if we leave brush strokes because the wood does not have uniform color normally. So if we have some variation, I think it's helping on making the wood even look better. And after that we will wait, now we will wait all this device and I will be back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use Vainplay Brown 
and I'm going to do the dirt the little bit of dirt or mat and I will take it out since I cannot show this part that is on top of the coffin I am thinking this should be the wood is what is remaining of the coffin that was used to bury this guy we do like that okay you go a little bit over the wood, don't worry because at the end it can be as well dirt it goes on the wood, so good now I'm going to use a screaming school and I'm going to paint this school that is there and the candles okay I like to do the candles in a cream color we're going to do well the wax that is dripping here Okay. Eliminate the moment. Okay. Eliminate this. I will paint the candles and I will be back for the next step. Okay, here we are. Next I'm going to use Zamezi Desert. Okay, this one. And I'm going to paint this type of plants that are just there. I like to paint them to paint them in yellow colors showing that they are just dried out plants And I'm going to paint as well the top of the wood like that. Okay. Now I'm going to use wild wood, the contrast paint, this one, and we are going to make all the roots and so on. We are going to do as well this piece of tree here and we are going to do all these roots. Okay. I will do one as an example, but you can see nothing is special. We just apply wild wood 
careful not dirty the, the zombie and then we have the same here okay and as a, in the same way I did that I'm going to do now all the roots that we have. The other thing I want to avoid is to have white on top of the tree, so I will do. And these are the close of the. of the crow. Now I'm going to do the other roots, and I'm back for the next step. Next step, I'm going to use Raglin Grim. Grim, sorry, Raglin Grim. This is a new color I just um, from the last contrast, and I really love it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this on the chrome, okay? Because we'll give this type of uh, instead of a very bright black, will give more like a sensation of a dirt black or something like that I don't know how to explain but I think it's giving this sensation that the crow it's yeah it's, it's the same color we use on the zombie skin and I think will give the sensation that the crow is a little bit more uh, creepy okay although the crows there is a lot of crows here in my village they are very nice they are black and nice and bright color But this one I want to give it a sick look, okay? Okay, here we are. And this, I'm guessing this thing that he has on the beak, it's like a piece of meat or something like that that he's having. Or well, this is my interpretation. So I will leave it in white. Now what I will do is I will take administratum grey. Okay, this one. And I will do this that for me is a moustache. Okay. I do it. This is it for me is like a mustache. Okay. Now I'm going to take red vibrator armor and I'm going to do the bell. And once this is done, I'm going to look if I miss any details somewhere and I start correcting any miss missing point anything that I have missed. For example, you can see next to the bell there is this part there that I just missed on wood. In the case I will go I will use more from brown, for example, because I have it here on my wet palette, and I will apply it. I can take some more from brown because it's also dry on my palette. Just give me a minute.
け。Um, I was forgetting the, the little rat that we have at the bottom. So I'm going to use no bookmark to low. And with this color, I will do this type of thing that the quo have. And I will do the head and the tail of the rat. This rat is only present in two, uh, in one zombie, so in one set of legs of a zombie. So you will have it in two miniatures. Okay, and now I'm going to use again. I can use a different color now. I will use Gar um, Garag Garagax Sewer, and we're going to do the skin, the fur of the right. Or we can use, I will use this one. No, the, yeah, Garagax Sewer, sorry. This is Garagax Sewer, and I will do the right. And I will apply here a little bit. This is on white. Okay, now we will wait that all this device because I want to wash everything with Agva Energy. So I waited this device and I'm back. Okay, so this is how it looks like once everything has dry. And now I'm going to take Agva Airshade and I'm going to wash all over the the zombie. Okay. This is one I want to give this dirty effect. And to do that I start from the top and I go down washing everything. Uh, important to be sure that everything is dry when you do that. Okay. If not you will start mixing the colors and it will be a great, a great mess. I will also wash the crew and I will wash the plants and everything. Okay, everything. I don't leave anything without Agvax air shade. You can see. And I'm starting as I said. I always when I'm doing a wash all over a whole miniature, I start from the top and I'm going down. Okay. So I do that. You can see quite an easy step. Quite easy and fast. Okay. Now I realize that I forgot the belt. It's not a big issue. The belt will not be a big change if I use the dark brown. Okay. I also watch the rat. So. 
and you can see it's quite a fast step I also wash in the roots, although the, on the roots if you miss one it's not going to be a big difference okay here I was missing this just turn around be sure that you don't forget any part then I remove if I see any excess of pain somewhere important to do the trousers in that case and now I wait at this device and I'm back for the next step ok so this is what it looks like once the uh, Agrox Airshade have dried now we are going to start working on the highlights and I will first start with a very thin brush and I will do the eyes, where I will just put a screaming school and realizing now, for example, here on the eye that there is a part that is not very dark, so I will apply first to ensure that we have a dark shade. I will apply Rhinos height. and I will do the same in the mouth. Now I'm going to use the screaming school. Sorry, no screaming school. I'm going to use first. I will. I will do the skin. I'm going to use bain red brown, and I'm going to highlight the skin. Okay, we want to do it in strategic points. Here I will say this eye is on bone, so I will just do the skin here. I will not apply too much, and I try to apply it quite thin, so I can play with the transparency of the paint to help on the transition. Change the bigger brush. Can use a little bit of is needed dry at bark. Okay. I want to leave the skin quite dark. And that one. And we're trying to get this sensation really. to the skin rotten and dirty Okay, we are going to, as you can see, I'm taking my time to really and I just look at the places where I want to because we have a nice shading and highlighting or nice volume given by the contrast 
and the Agax wise. So now the only thing we are doing is enhancing where I think we can add a little bit more to the miniature. Okay, and I will do that like in the same way. But <coughs> the other thing I want to show is now I'm going to use instead of using um, a bone color, I will use racker flesh. Okay, that is quite this because I want to do the bones that are visible in quite I wish to know it. Okay, so I will do this. And I will add some here. Because here it represents that we can see the skull under the skin. Taking it out of the base because it's easier. Just see like that. I'm going to make it there. And we can also play. A little bit here. I don't need to show more. And then I'm going to use the same skewing school to do the only eye. Because the other one is a is a hole. Now what I can use is a little bit of Corvus Black okay. I went to start with the Corvus Black Let me change to the small brush I was using before I think like that is enough. Now I'm going to use some Messi Desert. Like that. And then what I will do is I will take no blame brown to clean up here. Okay. And in the next step I'm going to use Downstone is one to put on the mustache. This is a root, I make a mistake. So for the roots, 
I'm going to use the Vyad bar first. In case we are missing bars, for example, I was missing here. And I think I saw a white bar. Somewhere maybe it was a reflection. And then what I will do using the roots is I'm going to use Gothor Brown. This one. And Bain Blade Brown. And with these two colors, we are going to first apply when go around. Okay. We will also do the bark of this. And then we are going to use Bain Red Brown. We we'll start from up down. Okay, and I will do as well some. Highlights there, and I will apply the prong here on the root. Okay, just to make them pop up a little bit. So we'll keep doing that. We'll be doing the other side and I'm back for the next step. Okay, now we have the roots done. Next I'm going to use Samezi Desert. And I'm going to add some very, I try to be as subtle as possible, but do some small highlights on the trousers. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to look too bright neither. I like that it's look, looking dirty as it's looking now. Here we are talking about a zombie. But he's not washing his clothes. Okay, let's do the wood now, and for the wood I'm going to use XV88 and the Mezzi Desert. Okay, and I also have the Vyad Bark on my palette in case it's needed. So with these two colors, and I will remove this from here because it's easier to show. So I'm taking first it's V88 and I will do the border and then I will also do 
where they well we are going to enhance some of the highlights or some of the light parts that we already have like that In reality what I'm doing is I'm making lighter the lighter parts of the wood, okay? This is why I like so much contrast and washes because it's telling you what should be darker and what should be lighter almost. Sometimes you need to you need to change the interpretation, but most of the time it will work. Especially when you're looking for tabletop. We're going to use well the this house here. So far I just used XV88, I will just use the Zamesi Desert if I need some parts to be really light. But you don't want to boost, if you want to, do, to give uh, this weathered effect don't use too much there's a messy desert here okay. so I have even I have more from brown on my palette in case I need a little bit of a radish tonality no, I'm using again XV88 You can see it's not matching that nicely. Then I can use if needed dried bark or lots of brown to help. Right here works better. This roof is where you need a little bit of the message as well. Okay, so I will look and I will keep working on the wood and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next I'm going to use the same Zamezi Desert that we were using on the wood and I'm going to I like a little bit the dry plants. And now, as well as in the, I was forgetting the belt, so I'm going to take a contrast paint, and here it's everyone can choose the one that they prefer. I will use snake, snake bite leather, snake bite there, sorry, snake bite leather, and I'm going to do the belt.
Okay, I apply a snake my leather and I wait this dries before doing any further step. Okay, so I waited this dries and I'm back. Okay, so this is how it looks like now. So we are close to, to, to done. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to use a screaming school this one and we are going to clean up a little bit the candles okay and I'm going to take a better brush so I'm going to and the candle a little bit more to remove all the red wash. We don't want it we don't want them fully clean. But a little bit wider up here. I will do the opposite. I will take some brown and make this darker. Because in reality it's too white now and now we can put so I use when red brown to make it a little bit darker. At the end, I like this dirty look. I don't want super bright candles. Now I'm going to take orange, this one, five layer orange. It's missing some water. And we are going to apply it in the candle, on, on the candle, sorry. Using when I try to show the top is not helping the handle. We are going to do it like that, covering all the flat part and as well the candle wick. This orange will contrast very nicely. This is why I like. I prefer to leave the candles a little bit dark because you have better contrast a little bit more And I will apply a little bit here on the side because the next candles will illuminate the side of the taller one. Okay, something like that. Now I'm going to take this one, a real yellow. And I will put it in the middle. Something like that. Be ensure that the base of the wick has this yellow. And now I go back to orange um, and I will do just the tip. You want to leave the yellow 
in the middle part. Okay, I will need to wait that this dries, but this is more or less the idea. So now I'm going to use again the screwing school and I will do I will highlight a little bit the school. And again I can use bin with brown. soften it to make the transition less stark and I will do this Okay, just to give it a little bit of a light. Then, on the piece of meat, on, on the chrome, I'm going to use no. I will use Bainbird Brown and I will just emphasize more because I, want, I don't want to use grey because I have the feeling that being blade brown will make more the sensation of a sick ill almost unhealthy crow that is the impression I want to give okay, I don't want to give this that Okay. Now I'm going to use Boomman Glow. One more time out of this. And the eyes I will not do anything. I think I will leave it. I will leave them like how they are. Okay, and I think like that. No, I'm missing one thing. Sorry. I want to do the highlights on the belt, so I will use our orangey. I will use a scrap brown. Or oh, that this one, death glow brown to do some weathering Oops. on the bell now using this because it will contrast a little bit more with the with the trousers that are Yellow. I cannot use the same color I use for those as the weathering. Or neither the XV88 will not work neither. 
I'm using this color. I follow the edge Okay, and I think like that. I like not to, yeah. I know that maybe it's I'm liking a little bit of definition in some places, but I think just let's finish touch. I will use a little bit of nickelite oxide and I will put it on the belt. sensation like that and it's done this for a way to do this and um, that walkers okay I have used I have a thing a woman but you can play with different tones so you can go lighter with the skin if you want so here you have another example Okay, I just wanted to show you how to do the dark skin. Okay, I wanted to show you another example. In some case I went yellowish. This is another one with dark skin. Okay, you can see with this green um, um, the base. Okay, so they are really nice miniatures to paint. I enjoyed painting them. And that's all for now, so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please give a like if you have liked, share if you think other people can be interested, and as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you in later. Bye!